Okay, we're back. This is part two of the SAS Checker SAS building video series. So I've taken the liberty to just change the style a little bit. So I've changed the uh, the layout um, a little bit here. So I've uh, uh, made the border radius rounder. It's about 10 border radius. Made a darker border and a shadow, drop shadow like this. And also under overview side. I have done that as well. Let's see, boom. Even with this one, group, add SAS, and that one. So right now, it looks like this. Boom, so I've also added a header here, just the SAS checker logo. I've added an overview bar here, and we still have the all the SAS uh, the SAS directory in a card form. So what I want us to do now is just to make this a simple a list view uh, and or have the opportunity to make this a list view and also to have an overview of like the statistics. So maybe I want a pie chart and something more. And that's basically it for, for part two. So let's go into doing this right now. So we, I'm going to start by doing a list view. So I'm gonna just copy and paste uh, this view right here. This is a little bit tedious. Maybe I should just do it like this. Height. Okay, now we have some space to work with. Okay. And we are going to make this one column, full list. Let's just preview this, see how it looks. Okay, like that. Mm -hmm. It's just a quick and dirty list view. Okay, how does that look? That's list view, I guess that's okay. Maybe even more, or oh, sorry, less space in between so like that and we can fix this later but let's just make it a little bit smaller and I also want these to be the same so like the same uh, formatting oops we should maybe align middle So I can line top and let's do edit and let's do delete something like that. Whoops. Whoops. Boom. Boom. Maybe that was okay. Maybe this is okay. All right. So let's call this repeating group SAS list. And this is not visible on page load, but instead, let's make a let's make an option here to show list or show show list or show cars. Maybe we should just make this an 
icon instead. List. Is that a good list? Hmm. Row card. Well, box then. Okay, that's a that's an okay box view. And I thought I saw an okay list view. Yeah, that one. Okay, but let's also grab the same color here. So we have some, so it's roughly the same style. looks weird but let's just do that for now card view or list view so let's put a state on the overview page custom state add new custom state let's call it view let's state type is a text the default value is card card view uh, when we press this button or this icon rather we change the state we set a state we set overview state overviews but to list instead boom and we make this when overview view is list this element is visible all right and on this one an overview view is a uh, card no it's not card this element is visible all right let's try that out and also we should collapse this element height when hidden mm. Oh, I might want to put that into a group, but however, let's try this first. Okay, card view, list view, and it goes down here, so we need to put, so first of all, let's put these in a group. And let's make that group fixed width, perfect. Also, let's make another group. And why I want to make a group here is because we need to have a group to be able to uh, collapse the height of this element when it's hidden. Is this the group? No. That's the group. So let's just boom like that. Can also do it like this. That's kind of the same, right? Yeah. There we go. And we put this conditional formatting instead on the group here let's just look at this right now right cool then we just need to put that logic on this as well state overview this view is card come on
cool. All right, cool. Should also group this by create a date. These as well, I think. Oops, this one. Okay, and now I just want to add uh, some statistics there, and I'm going to use the. Uh, Let's see the M short pi. Is that the one I'm gonna use? Okay, let's try the M short pi. Short the M short pi short M short pi short. This is just a free plugin. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so uh, data source is. Can we do a search for? SAS maybe search for SAS as cost nope maybe you search for SAS nope okay we're heading SAS do a search for here we put the cost the cost then what do we get? All right, so here we have a uh, is the short yet? Yeah, that's the blah blah blah. That's the SAS right there. I don't like this. Uh, it's because it's free. We can just put an element over this, or we can buy a plugin. I guess I don't like to buy stuff. Uh, I'm not going to use commercially, so let's just leave it like that for now. And let's say part two of two two of SAS shaker category sales description yes cost let's say two hundred forty dollars boom right and it adds here obviously we can see that the uh, size of the pie chart changed here so that might be something we want to look into and yeah this is uh, this is it for part two we just had a list view and a very very fast and statistics or we here so uh, I'll keeping I'm keeping uh, part two short but I'm going to do a little bit of more um, longer part three where we're going to add some cool stuff and again if you want to uh, suggest some features just look down in the link description and put some feature ads there but overall I want to keep this application very simple yeah, just to get an overview of, of all the SaaS services we are using so yeah and part three I'm also going to add the SaaS solutions I'm personally using to, to actually solve my own problem and see where I'm putting my money and, and uh, uh, if I should change it anyhow. So let's uh, see you on part three and as usual, subscribe if you want to and click the bell if you want to. I'll see you down the line. Goodbye.